In this video, I will help you to understand all the key functionalities of TCLC83 Google TV range. C83 belongs to our performance uh, product range. Uh, as you see, it is one step below C93. Uh, the product was awarded by ASA uh, this year and is uh, considered as premium mini LED TV set of 2022-2023. Uh, range is made of 55, 65, 75 inch uh, and uh, starting from clarity product is using deep learning artificial intelligence super resolution and we also use artificial intelligence to drive uh, the contour which are two key functionalities uh, together with panel resolution uh, to make uh, very clear and uh, then artifacts uh, free uh, picture and also banding free which is usually linked with uh, compressed uh, picture. Contrast another key area so very high dynamic range uh, here we have 1500 nits of peak brightness in dynamic mode together with uh, starting from 240 and ending with 360 it depends by size dimming zones it delivers really uh, ideal HDR performance and ideal balance between performance and uh, the price. Quantum Dot helps us to deliver uh, color volume and then to deliver lifelike uh, colors. Motion here, another area which is key for premium TV set, uh, is uh, done by panel which is able to do 120 Hz motion interpolation and go even to 144 Hz for PC or gaming uh, inputs. Then another key area is anti-reflection. Uh, this is uh, a solution which absorbs light from all the light sources and uh, windows or also upper light. Uh, then uh, HDR, so as we have uh, so good uh, functionalities in terms of uh, clarity, contrast, color, so we need also compatibility with all the HDR formats like uh, Dolby Vision, Dolby Vision IQ, HDR10+, HDR10, so everything you have today on the market. Then also we are compatible with IMAX content. Uh, this content is usually available for Blu-ray uh, discs. In terms of audio, Dolby Atmos uh, is the key functionality you find in the streaming and then the TV uh, decodes Atmos and is able to virtualize the Atmos to make you the feeling that uh, there are speakers around you. Smart TV is Google TV and uh, then uh, together with uh, local sharing uh, functionalities like AirPlay 2, like Chromecast, like Miracast. You can either use streaming services of your, all your local content on your big uh, screen. Then in terms of uh, gaming uh, functionalities, HDMI 2.1 with 48 uh, gig uh, input, so UHD 120, uh, from game consoles, UHD 144 from PCs and eARC for uh, soundbar to be able to send all the sound uh, formats. And uh, then uh, the product, as you see, comes uh, with uh, central stand, also comes with hands-free and also uh, comes with uh, these two remote controls. In terms of design, the product is uh, very slim, made of premium materials and is also designed as 360 design. We compare this product with uh, similar products uh, which you can find on the market like uh, Samsung QN85B or Sony X90K or LG QNet86. The point is that we use VA panel and very high dynamic range thanks to VA panel and mini LED backlight. And in case of Samsung and LG, these two TV sets are based at uh, also, Hisense is based on IPS panel, which makes a very significant difference in terms of picture performance you perceive. We, only, we don't talk only about uh, functionalities, numbers, uh, but uh, these are just proofs and measurements with it. Uh, for the TV set that it has 100% color volume, that it has 78% of uh, 
REC 2020 color gamut uh, coverage that it is delivering a very good uh, picture performance with uh, Delta E, which is color error below 3, which means uh, you don't see uh, color errors and color shifts uh, in all the formats like HDR10, Dolby Vision, HDR or HLG. Color performance uh, and dynamic range is one story, but uniformity is another. Here we also work very hard to make this uniformity on the very high level. Your eyes start to see uniformity issues where uniformity is below 70%. Here you see even in gray we are above this level. And then viewing angle is I, another area we significantly improved in this product. As you see last year moving off center was impacting color gamut, so then you had a feeling that colors are washed out and here today uh, this issue was solved. How HDR works and how local dimming works you see here. You see that uh, static uh, panel contrast is above 7001, which is perception of blacks uh, you have. With uh, local dimming on it is even much higher. You see that at uh, 50 APL 50, so half of the screen covered by the picture, uh, we have uh, 1200 nits of peak brightness and then in, with cool it is going up to 1600. How we compare this product with uh, uh, Samsung QN91B you see here, then the spectral power you can compare, you can compare also color gamut. Here we have also functionality of blue light filter, toxic blue below 450 nanometers, we don't touch, and then you see that uh, mid of uh, our blue light is 448 nanometers, and when you apply the filter, uh, the uh, power of this blue is going significantly down.